Hello and welcome Scorpio. I am Pisces Intuition here with your weekly reading. All right, so Scorpio, uh, keep in mind this is a general reading, so not everything is going to resonate with your situation. That's okay. Take what does and leave the rest behind. Um, let's see what else. Oh, if it's not your message, you know, like I said, don't stress yourself out over it. Don't worry about it. Also, I'm going to be taking in a look into uh, messages, into kind of communication, like what somebody wants to say to you, what you need to know kind of situation. I know these types of readings can be triggering, bringing up emotions, feelings, maybe even some, you know, some wounds that need to be healed. But I mean, that's kind of what tarot's for. So, you know, again, don't get overwhelmed. Um, you know, it's, it's all about finding those wounds that we still maybe need to pay attention to, that we still need to kind of heal from. So if you're finding yourself being triggered from this, instead of getting angry, try looking inside and seeing what needs to be healed. Why am I feeling like this? You know, um, because that's what, that's the purpose of tarot is that guidance. But again, always use your own discernment. And at the end of the day, you know, your situation better than anybody. All right, with that being said, bottom of the deck, we have the Two of Wands. So that beautiful card there. You have the Sun card. You have the Dawn of Rings, you, which would be the Page of uh, Pentacles. You have the Nine of Swords, and then you have the Ten of Rings, or the Ten of Pentacles. All right. Um, I do feel like you are confused over a situation. Possibly doing some self-reflection, possibly just kind of, I keep getting reminiscing, you know, kind of just, you know, reflecting back on, you know, again, yourself, um, situations from the past, you know, people. I feel like there's a part of you that I keep getting like you're making decisions because you're ready to be happy. And that's why you're kind of doing, I keep getting almost like a little bit of introspection, but that's why you keep doing that reflection. Um, you know, that's why you're, you know, wanting to kind of start over, start fresh. But there is, with the Nine of Swords, you know, definitely some conflict, there's some stress, there's some anxiety, some worry, and some fear that's taking place that's kind of blocking you from your Ten of Rings, your Ten of Pentacles, you know, that, um, that satisfaction, that contentment, that, you know, abundance. So for some of you, I kind of feel like you're self-sabotaging in a way, um, but I kind of feel like some of you, it's like you're waiting for the shoe to drop. I keep getting that feeling for somebody. So let's look into this and see what, what's going on here. Clarifying the sun, you have the Ace of Cups, you have the Five of Wands, and you have the Nine of Wands. Yeah, see, I feel like you're kind of showing up to a party closed off. Um, somebody else is showing up to a party closed off. I feel like you're kind of struggling. Um, five of Wands, I keep getting struggling, but I keep getting struggling to make a decision. Possibly between... Two people or maybe just between like love and something else but I keep getting needing to make a decision kind of juggling the situation you want a new beginning in love you want that love for sure you want that happiness but at the same time I keep getting you're almost kind of blocking your own self from it or somebody's blocking you from your happiness so let's keep digging in seeing what's going on here all right what is that page of rings all about page of pentacles we have the king of pentacles we have the nine of cups we have the knight of cups hmm so somebody's not opening up and expressing their feelings somebody wants stability security wants a commitment but i feel like somebody else is kind of um is coming off like very independent Possibly non-committal, but I, I feel like they have a hard time expressing their feelings. They have a hard time kind of opening up. And I feel like that's kind of the cause for the struggle. Because this person's closed off, they don't know how to open up. So it's causing some worry, some fear. It's like you want this new beginning. This person makes you happy. But, you know, you're like, should I stay? Should I continue with this? Because at the same time, it kind of feels like something's missing because this person's showing up so closed off. They're not opening up to you. They're not telling you their true feelings, you know, and it's causing some stagnation with the hanged man here. We have page of wands, ace of pentacles, and the hanged man. Clarifying that nine of swords. So yeah, so all of that, you know, holding communication in, not saying how we truly feel. 
about a situation or about, you know, again, how I feel towards you, um, it feels like it's causing some conflict. It feels like, again, it's causing some stress, some worry, and it's definitely causing to, or causing some, some stagnation. You know, I keep getting wanting to feel passion, wanting to feel excitement, wanting that romance, wanting that partnership. You know, can we just start over? I keep getting like, can we just start over? Can we start fresh? But I just, I keep getting like a block. At first I was thinking this could be self-sabotage, but it kind of feels more like your person's energy. The more that I keep tapping into this, for some of you, it could very well be self-sabotage. Um, you know, again, kind of waiting for the other shoe to drop. But at the same time, like I said, I, I keep feeling like, a decision needing to be made, and I keep getting like some kind of blockage. Clarifying that Ten of Rings, we have the Page of Pentacles, Seven of Wands, and the Empress. Yeah, see, <laughs> again, I keep getting being blocked. Huh. Like I said, I feel like you want to start over. You want to start fresh. You know, it's like, let's, you know, you want to feel excited about something. You, you know, I just, I feel like you're wanting to make some changes to a situation, to a relationship. Um, but this person just kind of feels closed off. You're like, am I doing the right thing? You know, is, are they going to stay closed off? Are they going to tell me how they feel? Am I wasting my time? Like, I don't want to think I'm wasting my time because this person makes me happy. You know, we, we have a good time. We can have adventures together, you know, possibly go traveling together. But for some reason, like I said, this person just feels blocked, feels closed off. And I think that's what's causing some confusion for you. The reason this person I get is like kind of feeling closed off. Because I feel like this person wants to start over too. But I just feel like there's kind of some fear holding this person back. And it kind of feels like that. And that's where the self-sabotaging energy come, is coming in, too. Because I feel, you know, for some of you, it could be you. It could be you, Scorpio. But I feel like it's it's more your person that's self-sabotaging. That's kind of blocking this. And I keep getting like, I don't know how to open up. I don't feel comfortable opening up. I don't want to open up. I get a very, like, strong stubbornness. This person could have possibly had some difficult relationships. That's why they're so closed off. Hmm. I keep getting like, I don't even know where to start. And I see, and that's where I feel like I see that confusion. I keep getting it almost feels like repetitive. Um, by that, I just mean like this person, it feels like we're getting, we're getting somewhere like we're moving, you know, two, two spaces forward. And then it's like, we have a setback and now we're like five steps back. So I keep getting almost like I said, like a repetitive, you know, just kind of frustration. Hmm. I do feel like I said a decision needs to be made, possibly, I was thinking possibly between two people, but the more I'm kind of looking into this too, I feel a decision needs to be made because I feel like you don't know if you want to stay in this connection or if you want to leave this. This could be a, you know, a romantic relationship, this could be a friendship, because I just feel like either way information is being withheld from you and you don't like that. Um, again, this could be vice versa. You know, but I just feel somebody's being very closed off. I feel like you're ready to take things to the next level or you want to do something, but it's like, I keep getting like a need to build trust because I feel like that's what it's going to start with this person is this person's got to build trust within themselves, with you, with the connection. Um, so it is kind of like saying, you know, what we need to do here is to start completely over, kind of wipe the slate clean. I keep getting like what this person's wanting to tell you, but they don't, is they need time, they need patience, they need kind of some encouragement in a way, um, because they don't feel like they can do this. I keep getting like, um, I don't want to say dependent, but it is almost like a codependent type of energy. Hmm. And see, like I said, I just, I keep getting like feeling stuck. All right, let's see what else this person wants to say. Okay. So I can't let you go without saying how I feel. You know, exactly. Yeah. Um, and I, I feel like, you know, 
this person's really kind of struggling because I do feel like this person is feeling you kind of pulling away. You know, and it's like, I, I don't want to let you go. I can't let you go without saying how I feel. I do feel like this. You know, I'm sorry I'm closed off, but I don't know how to open up. I don't like feeling vulnerable. Um, <clears throat> so like I said, it kind of feels like, I keep getting like draw. I keep getting, um, yeah, see, exactly. I don't know what I want. Underneath that was, I wish you were mine. It could be relevant for some of you. Um, I was feeling more this card on top here of I don't know what I want because I don't feel like this person does know what they want. All right, let's get some more Oracle. Communication, yep. Definitely, definitely, definitely a need for communication. And... <laughs> I get it, and I know it's hard when somebody's showing up so blocked off. It's like, I'm communicating till I'm blue in the face. But when you're not getting that communication back, you know, you know, I completely get it. Examine closer. There's illusions on the bottom of the deck. Beautiful new beginning. Hmm. Yeah, um, I feel like for some of you, again, there's like a self-sabotaging energy. That's what it has to do with illusions. This could be you. This could be your person. But somebody is creating some kind of illusion, some kind of, again, I keep getting like that feeling of waiting for the other shoe to drop. Like things are going a little bit too good. When's it going to go bad? And that's why I feel like this person is so closed off. This person is like really well protected, like protecting themselves, like hardcore, because they don't like feeling vulnerable. So they don't know how to open up to you, but you're feeling that and you're just feeling like they're just completely blocking you. Like you're not getting anything from them. You know, Scorpio, a lot of people, you know, go off of just vibes from the other person. So when you're not feeling that person's vibing with you or you're feeling like that person's vibe is completely blocked, you know, I feel like you're, that's, you know, like I said, the decision that needs to be made is possibly, should I just move forward because I don't feel like I'm really getting what I need from this person. And like I said, this person knows that they need to open up but they just, they don't know how to really openly communicate because they don't like that vulnerable feeling. But I do feel like if you, you know, because I feel like you're kind of pulling away from them and I feel like they do feel that, you know, they, they see that you're getting more and more distant. So I do feel like this can kind of cause them to, uh, and I'm not saying you should give anybody like an ultimatum, like, well, I'm going to leave you if you don't, you know, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying like, I feel like they're going to see that and they, they do kind of start to speak up for some of you. For others, I just, I don't see this person putting in a whole lot of effort for some reason. And I feel like it's just because it ha doesn't really have a whole lot to do with you. It just feels like they're, they're really blocked off. You know, they're, they've got to do that themselves. You know, they've got to be in a good place themselves first. So we have summer and we have September. So we're already in August. We are still in summer because fall doesn't take place till I think it's um, like September sometime. I want to say September Oh, I'm not sure. I'm going to have to look that up. Um, but, you know, again, you could be, you know, kind of seeing, like I said, some some communication. You could be hopefully getting some communication in summer. Um, through summer and September, I keep getting more rockiness. I keep getting kind of ups and downs. I keep getting, you know, again, communication being a huge factor. Um, you know, this reading was supposed to be about, you know, what are they not saying to you? And they're recognizing. They're saying, yeah, I, I don't open up. I don't like feeling vulnerable. That's why I'm so closed off. That's why I'm so like protective of myself. You know, I won't say I love you. I won't say how I feel about you. I won't, you know, sometimes I, I keep getting like somebody even has issues with like cuddling. Um, like I said, just very kind of emotionally closed off. So that's like, I'm, I'm even having a hard time. <laughs> like I said, really kind of pulling what they want you to know because they're recognizes recognizing this they're like yeah I know this um, but I just I'm not sure if I want to fix it yet so that's kind of where we are so again summer through September you know there's there's going to be some ups and downs there's definitely going to be some things like I said a decision that you're more than likely going to have to be making here Scorpio so all right well that is what I have for you so hopefully this helps thank you guys so very much for watching I appreciate each and every one of you as always enjoy the rest of your week and take care